I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska statewide weather on this Saturday, October 28th. The weather synopsis on this Saturday afternoon, we have a fairly stationary uh, low pressure system located over the central Bering Sea. This feature will very slowly drift toward the north and uh, be located around uh, the Gulf of Anadir along the Russian coast by early Tuesday morning. There's a secondary low that's going to work its way northward out of the North Pacific and be located just southwest of Kodiak Island and on the Pacific side of the Alaska Peninsula. That's going to spread some moisture and breezy conditions along areas of the Gulf Coast and eventually into the Panhandle later this weekend and early next week. Farther north, the cold front will traverse the Arctic coast and north slope as we go through the day Sunday and into early Monday. And this cold front will be accompanied by a band of light snow or snow showers that could initially be mixed with a little rain or some freezing drizzle. Otherwise, relatively mild temperatures are occurring across the panhandle with readings up near 50 degrees this Saturday afternoon, thanks to a large ridge of high pressure that remains over Northwest Canada and the panhandle. This feature is beginning to de-amplify a bit and is allowing for weather systems uh, to push up into the Gulf as well as to spread across the far north and into the west side of the state. Weakening frontal system from the low that's out over the Bering Sea will continue to keep mainly some light rain showers that could be mixed with a little snow or uh, freezing drizzle along areas of the southwest coast from Bristol and Kuskokwim Bays north through the Yukon Delta and up along the Seward Peninsula. Uh, temperatures have been as warm as 40 degrees as far north as Cape Lisburn. And looking ahead here in the next couple of days, when it comes to solar activity, we're watching the potential arrival of a kind of sideways coronal mass ejection along with a coronal hole bringing some enhanced solar wind. So there is the possibility that in Alaska, high latitude aurora viewing may be possible here starting Sunday night and again maybe uh, into Monday night as that particular disturbance or those two disturbances combine and our earth directed and arrive here. Otherwise, we do anticipate above normal temperatures for much of the state to start off November. For Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Peter Chan.